Henry Fambrow was a renowned vocalist. He achieved acclaim as a long-standing member of the R&B quintet The Spinners, also known as the Detroit Spinners and the Motown Spinners. Fambrow dedicated an impressive 69 years to the group, contributing to their enduring legacy. In April 2023, Fambrow announced his retirement from active performance, yet he remained intricately involved with the spinners behind the scenes. Despite his departure from the spotlight, the group continued to perform, honoring their long-standing commitment to music. With the passing of fellow Spinners members over the years, including C. P. Spencer, Billy Henderson, Purvis Jackson, and Bobby Smith, Fambrow stood as the last remaining original member, preserving the group's cherished history and musical tradition. Sadly, on February 7, 2024, Henry Fambrow passed away in Sterling, Virginia, at the age of 85. His contributions to the Spinners and the world of R&B music will forever be remembered and cherished by fans worldwide. How was his childhood alike? Born on May 10, 1938, in Detroit, Michigan, Henry Fambrow's musical journey began at a young age, fueled by a deep passion for music. In the early 1950s, he co-founded a vocal ensemble with friends Purvis Jackson, Billy Henderson, George Dixon, and C.P. Spencer, initially known as the Domingos, later renamed the Spinners. Fambrow's rich baritone voice and captivating vocals played a pivotal role in shaping the group's sound. Throughout the 1960s, the Spinners garnered attention with hits like, I'll Always Love You, and Truly Yours, laying the groundwork for their ascent to stardom. However, it was in the early 1970s that they experienced their breakthrough moment upon signing with Atlantic Records. With Fambrow's unwavering commitment and distinctive vocal stylings, the Spinners catapulted to fame, delivering chart-topping hits such as, I'll Be Around, and, Could It Be I'm Falling In Love. Despite lineup changes over the years, Henry Fambrow remained a steadfast member of the Spinners, serving as a beacon of consistency and talent within the group. His smooth vocals and magnetic stage presence endeared him to audiences worldwide, solidifying his place as a beloved icon in the realm of R&B music. Who was Henry Fambrow's wife? Norma Fambrow, wife of the late Henry Fambrow, shared a remarkable journey of love and companionship with the renowned musician for over five decades. Despite being married to a prominent figure in the music industry, Norma Fambrow remained steadfast in her desire for privacy, opting to steer clear of the spotlight and media attention. Throughout their 52 years of marriage, Norma stood by Henry's side, offering unwavering support and strength. Despite their connection to the world of music and fame, she maintained a discreet presence, choosing to keep her personal affairs private and away from public scrutiny. Did he have children? Henry Fambrow's legacy extends beyond his illustrious music career to his cherished family. He and his wife, Norma Fambrow, welcomed a daughter named Heather Williams into the world. As the only child of Henry and Norma, Heather holds a special place in their hearts, embodying the love and joy that enriched their lives. His net worth. In addition to his familial bonds, Henry Fambrow's professional accomplishments were notable, contributing to his substantial net worth. As a vocalist and a pivotal member of the R&B quintet The Spinners, Fambrow left an indelible mark on the music industry. His estimated net worth of $9 million as of 2024 reflects his enduring success and the impact of his musical talents. Natural causes were listed as the cause of death for Henry Fambrow. According to news reports and public comments from his representatives, he died quietly at home at the age of 85.